Well, good evening and welcome to our Chris Tingle service for 2020. Well, what a year we've been through. And of course, under normal circumstances at this point on Christmas Eve, uh, we will be meeting at St. Anne's, the church will be packed to the rafters and we will be remembering together Jesus, the light of the world. Well, we may not be able to meet together in the traditional sense, but we can celebrate in this way and make our Christingles and once again welcome Jesus the light this Christmas. Thank you for joining us online. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Rev Dave, and we hope that you did manage to pick up some of our Christingle packs from St Anne's Church, and you'll be able to join in by making yours this evening. And then can we encourage you, once you have done, maybe take some photos and put them onto our social media pages on Facebook. Rev Richard is leading our service and thank you to him and to our youth worker Rachel for bringing all of this together this evening. But as we begin, let's come into God's presence and take a moment's quiet. so we pray. Dear Lord, thank you that we can still meet this way this Christmas. As we light our Christingles, be with us. Show us your light in our lives. Thank you that you came to earth, Emmanuel, God with us, and that we can know you in our hearts. Bless this service today. Open our hearts to all that you have to say to us. We ask it in your name. Amen.
I hope you all enjoy joining in with the carol at home. We continue with our worship now by lighting our Advent candles on our Advent wreath. One for each Sunday in Advent, leaving just the centre candle, which represents Jesus as the light of the world, which we will light on Christmas Day itself. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can quench. The shepherds watched their flocks by night, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. The darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as bright as the day. Let your light scatter the darkness and illuminate your church with your glory. Amen. I don't know if Christmas is going to be a very noisy one for you this year. I expect for many of us Christmas is going to be a bit quieter this year than some. As we have a moment of quiet this Christmas Eve, Let's take a moment to look back on this year and all its challenges. When we're under stress and pressure, we don't always act in the way God wants us to towards those around us. We can forget to act lovingly. The good news of Jesus is, however, that when we confess these things that we have done wrong, he forgives us and helps us to lead a new and better life. So, in this moment of quiet, let's bring ourselves before God and ask his forgiveness. There'll be some words to join in with on the screen. Heavenly Father, you call us to repent of our sins. Soften our proud and stubborn hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you declared the forgiveness of God. Teach us to forgive one another. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Holy Spirit, you search our hearts and show us the truth. Help us to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who in Jesus Christ has given us a kingdom that cannot be destroyed, forgive us our sins. Open our eyes to God's truth, strengthen us to do God's will, and give us the joy of his kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we prepare with joy to celebrate the gift of the Christ child. Embrace the earth with your glory and be for us a living hope. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For much of this year, we at St. Anne's have been worshipping in this way online. I want to thank now everyone who has recorded themselves to contribute to our worship. Our final contributor of this year is Theo, who's going to bring us our Bible reading. A reading from the Gospel of St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. 
Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. When Jesus spoke to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Thanks, Theo, for that reading that spoke about Jesus being the light of the world. In a moment, we are going to make our Christingles together, which help us remember the words of that reading, that Jesus is the light of the world. But first, we're going to sing the Christingle song, which explains to us what all the different bits of the Christingle represents. The Christingle begins with an orange Telling us of the world God made By the fruits of the earth in their seasons We can see the love of God displayed Shine Christingle, shine Christingle, shine Christingle It's the light of Christ Shine Christingle, shine Christingle, shine Christingle, light of Christ. God of love, we give thanks now for Jesus. We remember his birth again. But the red ribbon round the Christingle tells the story of his cross and pain. Shine Christingle, shine Christingle, shine Christingle, it's the light of Christ. Shine Christingle, shine Christingle, shine Christingle, light of Christ. To complete the Christingle, a candle shining out in the darkest night. Jesus promised to lead us and guide us. Come and celebrate the world's true light. Shine Christingle, shine Christingle, shine Christingle, it's the light of Christ. Shine Christingle, shine Christingle, shine Christingle, lights of Christ. In the UK, Christingle services have always taken a collection for the Children's Society, and this year is no exception. We would love it if you could join us in making a donation today. You can do that either online by following the link in the description to this video, or if you've received a Make Your Own Christingle kit from us here at St Anne's, then you'll have a little collection box for you to make up and fill in your bags. If you'd like to do that, then there are instructions in the bag about how to return those donations to St Anne's. Here's a short video to help us understand the work of the Children's Society and how our donations will help. There's a huge amount of poverty and a lot of children and young people that do have real need in the UK. I like making the Christian go because I want to help other children who are in need. Christingle is such a great way to show love and support to those in need in our communities. Thank you so much for all of your generous donations. So, what do we need to make our Christingles? The first thing we need is a nice big orange. And the first thing we need to do with the orange is, is an adult needs to cut a cross shape in the top of the orange.
like so. I know some of you may have a cross shape already cut into your orange. The second thing we need to do is get a ring of red tape around the orange. I know some of you may already have red tape around your orange from your Christingle packs. To make your Christingle, you will also need a small candle, four cocktail sticks, and some nice raisins or sweets, which you must not eat until your Christingle is made and you've had your photograph taken with it. Please control your desire to eat the sweets just for a few minutes. If you've got all these things, then you're ready to begin making your Christingles and tell the Christian story of God's love for us. The big round orange represents our big round world. The world that God made and God cares for in all its spectacular beauty that we enjoy. In a book called Acts in the Bible, St. Paul says, we have come to bring you the good news about the living God who made heaven and earth the sea, and everything in them. So we've got our orange that represents the world. Now we add to our orange our four cocktail sticks with our sweets or raisins on them. We add them equally all around the orange. These four sticks represent the four seasons. And the raisins or the sweets that we're putting on represent the fruit of the earth. All of the food that God provides for us that we enjoy. As it says in the Bible, again, St. Paul in the book of Acts says, in the past, God permitted all the nations to go their own ways, but he never left them without evidence of himself and his goodness. For instance, he sends you rain and good crops and gives you food and joyful hearts. So we've got the orange that represents God's love in creating the world. The sticks that represents the good gifts that he gives us. We can now talk about the love that God shows us in Jesus. The red ring around the orange represents God's love in Jesus. It is the colour of blood. It represents the Christian faith that God sent Jesus into the world to die for our sins so that we could be forgiven and live a new life knowing God as our Father. 
as an angel revealed to Mary's fiancé, Joseph, in a dream, in the Christmas story. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Because in the Jewish language, the name Jesus means rescuer. We now end with the final part of our Christingle by placing the candle in the top of the orange. In a moment, we're going to light our candles together. The candle reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. As Jesus said of himself in the gospel according to St. John, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. As we prepare to light our Christingles in our service today, I think we just need to take a moment to pause and reflect on what these symbols of God's love mean to us, particularly this Christmas time. As has been said already, there are many ways that make Christmas different this year. We can't meet in church for this service. We've been unable to meet for carol services and nativity plays. We are restricted in who we can spend these holy days with. You may be finding this Christmas a sad end to a sad year. But rather than writing this Christmas off as a bad job, I feel that this year we can realise exactly why we need Christmas so much by pausing to reflect on its message to us. We've just heard Jesus say in the Bible, I am the light of the world. This year has been one of pain and of darkness for many. As you look back on it, therefore, it may be clear to you whether you have had a light to guide you. I get the sense that for most of you watching this service today, this won't be the first time that you have heard the words of Jesus, I am the light of the world. But as you look back on the challenges of the past year, I believe we can all reflect on whether or not we have truly known this light, not only as a story at Christmas, but as a true guide, comforting us and guiding us in our lives. I also feel sure that there are some of us watching today who are thinking, yes, that describes me. I know the story, but I want and I need to know him in my heart. I know the stories of Jesus, but I now need to place my trust in him to guide me in my life. If that's you today, then I have wonderful news for you. It says in the first chapter of the Gospel of John, to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. This can be you today. You can take the step of having Jesus not just as a Christmas story, but the light of your world. As we light our Christingles today, as we join in prayer, maybe you'd like to join me 
in inviting the light of Jesus into our lives this Christmas. If you do, perhaps you could join me now in this prayer, if it is your prayer also. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to live among us. Thank you for revealing yourself as the light of the world. Lord Jesus, I am sorry for when I have lived and acted in darkness. Please come and bring your light into my life. Forgive me my sins and guide me in my life. Help me to shine your light in the world that all may see and know your love. In your name and for your glory I pray. Amen.
For our prayers today, you may like to hold your Christingle in your hands. When I say, light of the world, please respond, may your light shine in the darkness. Light of the world, may your light shine in the darkness. Lord Jesus, we reflect on this Christingle as a sign of your love. As we look at the orange, so we remember our own world. We pray that we would be good stewards of this world you have given into our care. Light of the world, may your light shine in the darkness. The cocktail sticks remind us of the seasons. In the book of Ecclesiastes it says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. We pray for those who are in a difficult season of life, whether ill or grieving the loss of a loved one. In a moment of quiet, let us bring to mind those people now. During this difficult season for our nation and world, we pray that we will continue to focus on you and your light in our lives. Light of the world, may your light shine in the darkness. The fruits and sweets are reminders of the fruits and vegetables in the four seasons. They remind us to be thankful that we have food on our plates and to remember those who go hungry. They are signs of all the good things that you, Lord God, have made and given to us that we might share them fairly so everyone can have enough. Light of the world, may your light shine in the darkness. The candle planted deep within the world as a sign that you made your home among us and lived with the poor and neglected. Thank you that you are the light of the world and that we can place our hope and trust in you. Light of the world, may your light shine in the darkness. The ribbon wrapped around the earth, a sign of your love shown on the cross enfolding the whole world with your saving love. Help us too to live lives of love and to always remember the price you paid that we might have a relationship with you today. Light of the world, may your light shine in the darkness. Lord Jesus, light of the world, as we hold this Christingle and think about your great love for us, help us to take this light out into the world and to share your love with others, especially those who need it most. Amen. And now, drawing all our prayers together, we say the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We're approaching the end of our service today and it's time for us to light our Christingles together. So find yourself some matches or a lighter at home. 
You might want to turn the lights off in the room where you're in if it's safe to do so to get the full effect of the candlelight. I will then lead us in a prayer and you might want to keep your candle lit as we sing our final carol together, O come all ye faithful. God, our Creator, every good and perfect gift comes from you. Thank you that you sent Jesus as the light of the world. Help us to know the light of Christ and help us to shine as lights in your world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we come to the end of our service, once again, thank you for joining us. Can I remind you that if you do happen to take photos of your Chris Dingle, then please do place those on our social media so we can see all those Chris Dingles lit up around our community. And you may like to display them in your windows so that people can see Christ's light shining out. This evening at 11.30, we'll be holding our service of Midnight Communion, and all are welcome to join us for that. And tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., we'll be having our Christmas Day celebration service. Put on your favourite Christmas jumper, bring in an open present, and we can celebrate together. But for now, the final blessing. May the light that is Jesus lead you always. May your heart... Be more for the people around you than yourself. May you resolve to reach out in love and come alongside those in need with God's generous compassion. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. 
Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, Amen. Let's take this opportunity to wish you a very happy Christmas and a peaceful New Year.